To get to Mars, you first need to get to space. Everdome followed up the creation of our spaceport by ideating our first mission architecture study, which included both the Everdome Phoenix and the Everdome Cycler. From the mission architecture, the concept and design of our reusable spacecraft that could horizontally land on Mars slowly came into focus. Early on, we decided that we wanted to set our world 150 years into the future. This gives us some leeway to both stay true to viable science, while also letting our imaginations of future science run free. We looked in detail at some other reusable spacecraft designs from the past, present, and visions of the future while deciding on the design of the Everdome Phoenix. Our scientific consultants looked at the wing design of cutting-edge reusable spacecraft, such as Sierra Space's Dream Chaser space plane, or Boeing's X-37-B, and then projected future capabilities to imagine our Everdome Phoenix. We also took ideas of refactory tilling to shield our spacecraft from multiple entries to both the Earth and Mars atmospheres. The human body is better at surviving g-forces perpendicular to the spine, so this means that when the acceleration is forwards, our passengers need to be laying on their backs, which is why the view from the rocket seems to be upside down as you take off. For the interior cabin, we reimagined a business class style airliner experience that would also reduce the effects of g-force on both takeoff and landing. But as you know, we are not just taking you to space, we want to take you to Mars. And that's where the cycler comes in. We knew that to be viably supported by scientific principles, we needed to create an interplanetary craft to transport both rockets and passengers to the red planet. EVR Phoenix wouldn't be enough considering the scale of numbers that we would like to bring. These are the words of Buzz Aldrin, the brains behind the Mars Cycler concept, a theoretical spacecraft trajectory designed to facilitate regular transportation between Earth and Mars using minimum energy, and this was one of the greatest inspirations when ideating the Everdome Cycler. This concept involves a spacecraft traveling in a continuous loop between Earth and Mars, following a specific trajectory which takes advantage of orbital interactions between the planets. Initially, the Mars Cycler was estimated to have a transit time of 146 days. However, advances in propulsion technology has already reduced this estimate to potentially 100 days. We therefore estimated our travel time at 120 days, allowing for future scientific progress in interplanetary propulsion and the capacity of our theoretically designed Everdome Cycler. We give you the most advanced way to get to Mars, making it fun and as real as humanly possible. Everdome, imagining the metaverse differently.